so I'm recording now. Okay, the, the first thing, Mr. Sheikh, uh, quickly in uh, one sentence, just um, or two, a few sentences, just tell us um, something about Mr. Sheikh Karbo as an artist. I'm an artist, um, I'm a producer, rap, sing, engineer, all that stuff. Anything in the studio, basically, I do it. <laughs> um, as an artist, how do I describe myself as an artist, man? I don't know. I just, I just try to stay true to what I'm saying and doing as okay. much as I can. Oh, that's that's you know, good. That's and uh, incorporating our culture in it because that's our identity at the end of the day. So just expressing ourselves through our culture or involving some of our culture in there, you know. That's I think that's what really defines me as an artist. That's what I, I want to express, anyways. Yeah. That, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. All right. Uh, secondly, um, the, my question is, how long have you been into music? Like, how long have you been doing music as a person? Uh, I, I, I don't remember not doing music. Oh, wow. So, wow. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've that. been doing, I've been around music and participating in music since probably I was like four or five, just... You know, like I used to, you know, the, my favorite album to this, one of my favorite albums to this day is, I don't know if you know this African artist, I'm going to test your African music history. You know who okay. Papa Wemba is? Papa you don't Wemba. Know who Papa is? <laughs> okay, Wemba. well, 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 I, uh, uh, I, maybe it's I've like heard Congolese, of it. Congolese okay. music in the 70s, 80s. Okay, I'll tell, I used tell to be you. young, and when they would play, yeah, okay. like when they would play that that album, if they will stop playing it, I will start crying. Yeah. So since I was young, I've been into... No, that know. actually means you, it actually means you speak French. You understand French too. Un peu, un peu. Mon français, c'est, c'est, mon français, c'est pas bon. C'est terrible. Oh, okay. C'est bon. oh, okay. You know, you know, uh, you know I'm, right, I'm in Nigeria and um, basically, you know, part, um, the, the, this part of this world, the part of the world here, it's English. It's English, so. Uh, Same as Sierra Leone. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Sierra Leone is English too, but you know, we're talking about yeah. uh, Papa uh, Papa Shai, or what, what did you what did you call his name again? You know the um, Congolese. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Wemba. Okay, Papa Wemba. Very good musician. Well, that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a Congolese and, and a French person. Okay, well, Mister. Um, you know your your fans are gonna eat you up for not knowing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, followers are gonna beat you up, and I know about my man. You know, well, you know, if if I trace, um, you know, I I read something back then. Uh, I read something back then about the the history of hip hop in um, Africa. You know, and um, the the first rapper, as it were, in Africa is still traceable to Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, in the in the seventies. Uh, uh, he, he, no, no, not because of Nigeria. No, 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 not because of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mr. Sheikh, man. I, no, I'm not talking because I'm Nigerian, but I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about what I read in history. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's true, actually. <laughs> it is no yeah. early seventies. Early seventies. Uh, okay. You know, okay. I, I, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, okay. Uh, let's go back to the next question. And the next question is um. Uh, who who are the artists? Who are the artists that actually inspired your own art? Like who inspired you? Which uh, what artists inspired you? Like you mentioned, uh, you mentioned a couple of them. Who inspired you? Like, um, Tupac. I mean, it, it, that's easy, uh, you know. Especially from where I come from, like Sierra Leone loves Tupac. I don't think you understand this. Oh, okay, Leone, wow, wow. it's okay. Okay, loves Tupac. You know. <laughs> Um, okay. So I, I, I would say that, you know, I, that's as a rapper. But then again, you grew up and you grow up and you start listening to people like Jada Kiss, Pusha T. You're like, oh, wow, this is slick wordplay now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like my favorite right now, it has to be like Pusha T. But my favorite of all time is like a four-way tie, man. It's like Jada Kiss, Style Speed, Pusha. Nah, it's too, it's hard. It's hard to choose a favorite, you know? I love oh. music too much to have one. But as a producer, you know, I'm inspired by Pharrell, the Neptunes, Timbaland, DJ Premier, you know what I mean? Oh, that, that's, a lot, that's a lot, good. a lot. Like a, okay, let me chip in this. Okay. I think uh, from my, from uh, our experience, from my, from our experience, um, Nigerian, um, uh, sorry, Hip Hopville, you know, we think uh, okay. Sierra Leone is uh, largely 
are a nation that appreciates um, hip hop more than other genres of um, music. Like um, the, the Sierra Leonean um, I so. population. Well, I, I think, so. yeah. Huh? Well, the reason why I feel, I, I think Sierra Leone has a very rap based music kind of, you know what I'm saying? Now we have our singers. We have yeah. our traditional music as well and all of that. Yeah. I think in the modern sense, I think Sierra Leone is rap based because I feel like our people have been through a lot. So I think you're getting a lot of rap and especially you're getting a lot of passion for rap because rap is very rebellious. You know, yeah, rap sure. is very rebellious. Yeah, so yeah. in it's Sierra Leone, because people are fed up. Yeah. I'm, I, you, you, you can say the same for Fela Kuti as well in Nigeria. Sure. At a time yeah. where he felt like the, it was so corrupt, he's, he had to speak out. Like, it didn't even matter that he was trying to sing like yeah, a R&B yeah. person. But you just sing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I think for now in Sierra Leone, it's the same wave. Like, I think everybody's just tired and sick of whatever they're sick and tired of. And they, they, they want to they wanna rap it as opposed to sing it, you know what I mean? Yeah. When, when, when there's no money, it's hard to be in love with a woman when there's no money, so you don't make <laughs> R&B songs, man. Yeah, it's cool, it's true. <laughs> you it's true, man. It's true, man. it's true. So I think that's you know, why. Because, because uh, rap, rap music in its purest uh, form, rap music uh, is actually a revolutionary music. You know, exactly. from its early yeah. history, it's revolutionary. And um, um, it's so, I, I can understand, actually, I can understand. But basically right now, Africa, Africa is uh, tilting, the, the, the music uh, in Africa right now is tilting towards uh, dancing. You know, towards <laughs> dance and... Um, you know, so you, you, you discover that um, as um, certain of um, um, many African rappers, many African rappers are actually uh, infusing. That is, I think that that informs that informs the infusion, that informs the infusion of um, Afro sounds to hip hop right now. I think that mm -hmm. that explains that better because mm -hmm. the African people actually want to dance right now. Anything, I, in fact, right now, an African can just hear a bit and he starts shaking his head. Yeah, he's not even listening yeah, to anything. Yeah. Yeah. No sound, but it's just a beat, and it's just man. He just wants to yeah. dance, and that, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know, personally, well, from we grew up on, we didn't hear the words. We don't understand the words a lot, yeah. in Africa, especially. A lot of the Ivorian Congolese music we grew up on, we don't know anything. Yeah, else. yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that's but why someone. Just, I think yeah. it's part of the African culture. Dancing yeah. is part, dancing, yeah. part of it's, our it's African true. DNA. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I think that's why it's so so natural that when that you hear. A drum, yeah. you want to shake some, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that also explains why someone like uh, um, Awilo Lugumba, you know, a, right. a, yeah, is, a, yeah. is a Congolese, but you know, I can tell you that Awilo Lugumba is more known in Nigeria than many Nigerian artists, many Nigerian top artists. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> because people yeah. want to dance, people just want to dance. People want to dance, you know? man. It's crazy. I, and they I don't got some dance it. stuff in the homecoming album, yeah. too. I got, I got everything. Don't think it's just rap. <laughs> this is like me putting together a project as a producer, not as a rapper. So I have my raps, I have my R and B, I have my yeah. dance. You know what I mean? You know, I have my you know what, what I what I also think as a person is, you know, we there are still Africans who enjoy intellectual music. Rap is intellectual. Rap is, is intellectual music and there are still a lot of Africans who enjoy intellectual uh, music and all of that, you know. Right. I actually I don't tell artists to um uh, dumb down you know, dumb down so much. You know, you can yeah, do, no, you can do something no, good, yeah. like your know, Atuba, Atuba don't know or something like that. The, the sound, the it's song. Not it's not just, it's not just, a, it's not just a hip hop thing. You know, it's something that the the, yeah. the average person can relate with. You know, that's yeah. that's yeah. that's you know that's what we tell. That's actually, and that's that's what I've 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 the opportunity to talk to a lot of um, uh, big artists in Nigeria, and I tell them the same thing. Yeah. I'm not asking you to dumb down. Don't dumb down your sound. But you can infuse what people want to hear. You know, you can infuse, you can infuse some sounds that the, the, the average African can relate with. You know, not just speaking above their head, dropping all the bars, yeah, yeah. dropping all the metaphors, all the punchlines. And they can feel this. They can feel people can feel it, but not generally people can not, not everyone can feel that. I know, man. You know, yeah. you just have a minority of people who can actually uh, you know vibe to such kind of music in um in Africa. So, yeah. you know, so we advise, we also advise um, African, African artists to, not to dumb down, African rappers not to dumb down, but actually to also, you know, infuse what the people can feel and all of that. So that's it. 
So let's quickly go to the next. Uh, any musician is, is your job. It's your job as a musician yeah. to 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 serve uh, the people, but not to over serve. Because sometimes yeah, over serve. Yes, the people that's, that's, want you to do something like Soldier Boy, and that's not your yeah, thing. So you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's great. But, okay, you know let, what okay. I mean? Let's go to the next question, Mr. Um, Shake, because our time is um, fast spent already. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Let's let's quickly answer this one. Already I've asked before now, but uh, let's just quickly answer it. Now, were you were you born in America or um um or you were born in Africa and you relocated to America? So let's talk about that. I was a born in, bit. Uh, my my dad worked my dad worked for Echo Was. Okay. Was, I think he was representing Sierra Leone, but he was stationed in Togo. Oh, okay. So uh, okay. while that that's when that's when that's when I was born in Togo. After that, I think we came straight to America. But my mom is a business internationally so she was like oh i got some business to handle in africa you you're coming with me oh, so okay. we went back to sierra leone for for a little while and we went right, to europe yeah. and all sorts of places so it's like you know i'm i'm a, i'm a, i'm i'm what they call all african yeah you're all african <laughs> born you're in african. togo partially yeah, raised sure. in sierra leone man you're really you know? an african it's, it's it's obviously because of you know, you know i've been all over i've literally that's, been that's to donovan it, here so, so. it's great okay so, uh you know, you know, um, as a producer and as an artist, okay, um, I'm sure you, I'm sure you must have worked with uh, some artists in terms of production or, or you know, or singing or rapping yeah, or yeah. something. So, uh, can you mention some notable artists you have worked with in your career as a producer I've, or as an artist? I've produced for, I mean, I've I've produced for uh, Yo Gotti, Young Buck. West SMP Snipsy Hustle early on in his career. Early okay. on. Okay. Snipsy right. oh, wow. Hustle. Man, uh, Nipsey, Nipsey, Nipsey was a great guy. Nipsey Trump. was a great guy. So uh, I write yeah. to him. Yes. Uh, rest yes. on his rest yes. on King. Uh, that that always, one there shook the whole world, man. Yeah, it shook the whole the way world. The way that man died, man, it shook the whole world. I was not supposed to happen that way. Yeah. But rest wow. in peace to them. Yeah, and in regards to that, like on the production side, I've worked yeah, pretty much a lot of people. I still have a lot more to go. I need to come work with some Nigerian artists, man. You need to set that up, man. Okay. I need okay. you to set that up for me. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Suddenly, suddenly. Uh, I, I actually, I have a Nigerian. Actually, um, uh, Hip Hop Ville actually um, have a collaboration right now between a, a, um, a Cameroonian artist and a Nigerian artist right now. All right. It's, it's, it's in the works right. right now. So, don't worry about that. It's all very easy for us. I mean, no, I'll produce some, man. I'll produce something. Yeah, so so no problems, no problems. We're gonna we're gonna get that done. It's not a big deal. Okay, so uh, the next question to you, Mr. Cabo, is um, you know, uh, you're trying to break into the African market. You're trying to break into the African market, okay? And um a music market. You're trying to break into the African music market. Now, you know, how has the journey been so far? How you know how, how has it been for you? Somebody, you know, you're, you're in America, you're trying to, you're doing, you're putting a lot of structures to, um, you know, get into the market here in Africa. How has it been? Mine is my data. I don't subscribe. Huh? Yeah, this thing, Hey, Mr. Cabo, I'm very sorry about that. You know the yeah, it cut off a Africa. Bit, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. I'm, I'm back on now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know how it is. You know how it is, man. You know how it is, man. So, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so I was asking about your. I was asking about your. Um, you're trying to break into the African music market, and um, how's the journey been so far? Uh, setting up structures, uh, promotion, and all of that. How's it been? How's it been so far? I, it's, it's not easy, you know, like just like any kind of business, it's not easy yeah. when you yeah. enter the new market. But I mean, but it's not also impossible or difficult either, you know what I mean? So it's just like you just got to set up your your your, your place, <laughs> make sure you, you, you connect with people, just like any other hustle. It's, it's not anything I've done before, but it's also home. It's yeah. also home. So I 
yeah. advantage. You know what it's I'm true. saying? I have an advantage, you know? So yeah, it's true, yeah. I don't think it's, a, it's not a, it's been fun. It's been nothing but fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, just learning, just learning what, 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 uh, what, what, what are the do's and don'ts, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Actually, you know, <laughs> learning the do's and don'ts and just seeing how fans are. Yeah. It's just that, you know, um, <laughs> it's been hilarious. It's been oh, so man. funny. It's best you watch me in our comments. And everybody, oh my God, man, that shit is hilarious. Because okay. yeah, <laughs> the people that sold that <laughs> artists that they yeah. would want to kill because you don't know the artist. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. So it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun. I can't complain. Okay. Now, now my next question to you, is, Mr. Char uh, Carbo, is um, you know yeah. the um, uh, you know, Carl De Niro, it's a known artist in your country, all right? Mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, a rapper in your country. Do you see yourself working with him someday? Like, do you see yourself working with him in terms of doing a song with him someday? Well, I don't know. Like, I don't... Me, you know, how I am, a lot of people think I don't like features. Okay. It's not that... Like, music to me is very, very near and dear. Like, it's very... I have a very intense passion for music. And yeah. I have to connect with you music for me and you to work together. It's not out of business and none of... None, no. I feel like if if me and someone have a, a, a thing we connect through artistically, that's the only way that's going to let me in the studio. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I how big someone's name is, it's not about how small someone's name is. Yeah, I yeah. have Before I go make a song, I already have it all up in my head. Yeah. Before I sit yeah. down on my keyboards and guitars, I already have it all up here. So, so in, in a sense, you have to kind of fit in that paradigm. Yeah, for me to be yeah, that. yeah. I get what you're trying to say, man. I get what you're trying to say. <laughs> Opportunities to feature American artists, yeah. Yeah, very, American artists. but yeah. it's like I don't want to. I'm a man, you know what I'm saying. I don't. I don't like to. I yeah. don't like to hang on somebody else's coattail. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I get. I get. Yeah. Like yeah. when I do this whole an album, I literally started from the bottom. I started from the scratch, basically to build everything up, whether it be at the fan base, the everybody's attention, do everything. I like organically working my my business. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> You know, okay. but I have a third project I'm working on. You know, I, I don't know. Like, I, I typically don't have feet. Do, it's hard for me to do features. It really is. And it's not out of anything. It's because I understand the sound I'm trying to make. And I don't yeah. want any spoiling that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Carbo, uh, this meeting, uh, this um, uh, interview is scheduled for 30 minutes. So we're going to be a little bit faster. So we can, okay. uh, so we can talk about all we have to talk about within the ambit of the time. Uh, yeah. Okay, my next question is still in relation to uh, working with artists. So now if you were to uh, talk about working with any artists in Africa, let me put it, let me not say Nigeria right now, working with, uh, with um, um, artists in Africa, which artist would you really, uh, could, do you vibe with? Like which artists in Africa would you? I like Nasty C, you know Nasty what I mean? C, okay, okay. He has a, tra he has a trap uh, kind of sound, yeah. Well, it's not only that. I like people that are very lyrical. I've seen the Nasty C freestyle on Sway. Oh, okay. I was like, okay. The African, that's amazing. You know what I mean? Okay. I like stuff. I like intricate flows. Like, man, yeah. it's not, you know, um, I, I've heard, and to be fair, to be fair, I, I haven't really, really listened to a lot of, lot of, lot of African rappers like that. Okay, you know, okay. Um, but there are some, there, there, well, the thing is, there's a lot of African rappers in the United States. Yeah, sure. So yeah. I would know more like Bucky Raw, like people like that. We know those yeah. more. Yeah. And you know, oh man, it's big, man. In Nigeria alone is like three yeah. subcontinents. Huge. Yeah. Like it's hard to know everybody. Yeah. But um, you know, I I, I like Sarkodi though. I like Sarkodi. I love when Sarkodi raps in in tree. In tree, if that's the okay. way you pronounce it. Because that's what we get, that's what rap is about. You rap for your people. You don't rap just because they say, oh, you can rap in English. No, that's not yeah. what justifies. That you know, is not what it is. That's not what it is, yes. That's not what it is, yeah. It, As you know how to rap is people from your own tribe, from your own country, saying like, damn, you speaking our own country yeah. language on these American beats and you killing yeah. it? That's what the rapper, not the that fact that you can rap. Sure. No. You're correct, you're correct. Okay, uh, my second to last question to you is, uh, you know, uh, now what are your plans for, what are your, what are your, what's, what do you plan to bring to the table in Africa? Like uh, what's uh, musically, 
what do you want to bring to the table? You know, your homecoming like, album, what I would expect, what freshness is it bringing to the table in, in the musical table in, in Africa, in the African continent? Man, just like a, a good vibe, man. Like, I don't even know how to describe. There's a whole bunch of different things, but just like that embrace of, of uh, you know, where we from, bro. Like, see, the hip hop is a language that could be yeah. spoken in many other languages. You know what yeah, I'm sure. saying? That's why you have hip hop. You have American hip hop. You, have, yeah. you even have. Arab hip came from exactly where we come from, West Africa. Yeah. You know, the African Americans that started it is where we were from. So it's like, how can we not have that? How can we not embrace that? Yeah. We have to embrace that. There's no choice. That could serve as a bridge. You know, hip hop is a multi billion dollar industry here, man. Yeah, sure. You know, sure, I like yeah. money. Hip hop yeah, is a multi billion dollar industry. What if yeah. some of that come back where we're from? Sure. We need some of that back there, man. Oh, well, man. Mr. There's Trump. a lot of kids right now in West Africa, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ghana, that's cool that, that don't have jobs, man. That could employ a lot of, a lot of people who bring hip hop back home. So, right, man. You're right, man. You're correct. That's man. one of the plans. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's great. Uh, okay, but the last question to you. Um, I just want you to take uh, two minutes to talk about it so we can round off the interview because our time is um, almost uh, over. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, can you tell us about um, your homecoming album? You know, what what month? What 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 month do you want to drop it? And uh, what are your fans? Um, what 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 do Africa? What do you want Africans to expect now from the homecoming album? You know. But first now, first uh, hold on. First of all, um, your first your song, Atuba, it's it's great. It's actually great, and um, you know, um, it's awesome. It's awesome. So it actually gives us an, uh, an a tip of the iceberg, like a tip of the iceberg. Yeah, that's the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. It's not a tip of. Oh, it gives us a tip of the iceberg into what we expect. So obviously, uh, I, personally, I expect something uh, wonderful. I expect something awesome. Something mind blowing, I mean. but I want to hear from the horse's mouth. I want the um, I want the person concerned now to talk about it. You know, what okay. are we to expect from you? You know, the homecoming album, and what month? What month do you actually? I want to, I want to towards the end of the year, to be honest, okay. because that's towards the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, rainy season is about to start, so no one is outside. There's yeah. not a lot of going to go down. So yeah. I, I'm going to to the end of like close to the end of the year. And okay. um, actually supposed to be in Africa by uh, around December time. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be in Nigeria too. So I'm wow. going to be calling you. Wow, good. Oh, good. Yeah, sure. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I got cousins all over the West Africa. That's, I got, man, don't worry about that. Yeah. But, like, I'm towards the end of the year. And really what to expect from the album is, like, I look, I did my research on African music. I bet you yeah. didn't know this. The sample that's in Atuga is yeah. in Angolan. It's a sample. Wow. It's, a, it's a song in the seventies in Angola, wow. you know, by Nunes. You wow. know, uh, one of the people that I grew up studying music, and I, I, I listened to that. So wow. I incorporate in, in the music and so that's East African, you wow. know. That's so you know, maybe the next, I got some Nigerian people I sample from back in the seventies too in the album. This wow. album is like an African album. This is an wow. album that's, I that's sample awesome, man. That's African awesome. music, all different influences. It's uh, uh, John Kanabe, one of the greatest musicians where I'm from, he introduced a whole new genre called Boo Boo. It's like, it's, it's like I draw many influences from that. And overall, just kind of, you know, it's like cooking. You just kind of put the spices here and there, you know, put the American flavor, Latin flavor, of course, African flavor, and then just trying to keep it, you know, very, very, it's interesting. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You, you, uh, I obviously, apparently, like I, I said from the beginning, I, 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 uh, that it's like um, the the first the first single of the album is 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 dope and um, actually yeah. gives um, an idea gives an inkling into what the fans and what Africans are to spread from the entire album and uh, we said it's going to drop uh, towards the end of the year so that's that's awesome so we we're expecting something yeah. massive something very awesome also uh, Mr. Yeah. Sheikh Carbo it's been a wonderful time with you today it's been a wonderful time with you and um, yeah. likewise. You know, it's it's been a wonderful time. Uh, we have learned so so much uh, so much uh, about you, so much about your art, yeah. and so much yeah. about your passion and your works in the past, and you know your future plans and all of that. So it's been a, a wonderful time. So I think uh, just a word, just a word or two for um, 
African music um, fans and and uh, we'll call and it the rap. Call it the rap. As your own, embrace your own. Because at the end of the day, look, there's no like I've been here for 22 years and more, right? And there's no place I'd rather be than home. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no place I'd rather be. Uh, there's no culture I'd rather be part of. And uh, to be honest, we gotta stop looking at each other as so different. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, you know, the Fulani's in yeah. Sierra Leone, or you not look at yeah. the Fulani's in Nigeria any different. Yeah. It's one. You know what I mean? All these borders, white people drew it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be frank about it, <laughs> white people drew it. It was yeah. not our ancestors. Yeah. Let's stop looking at each other so different. That I'm, the funny thing is, in America, us yeah. West Africans are close. Nigerian, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Guinea. We're all close in America. As soon as we start going back, we say, yeah. oh, that, one, that, one. that one is that one. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We all party in the club here. Yeah. So together. You've yeah. seen. Yeah. But as soon as we start going home, we start being egotistical and, and tribal. You know? Yeah. So we got to stop crazy. that shit. That yeah. shit got to stop. Because yeah, if that shit is, it's not going to be enough money. We want the money. We want the togetherness and we want the money. Ain't that right? <laughs> All right, bro. Man, it was a great town, man. I, I really enjoyed myself. I really enjoyed myself. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great Thank one. And, um, you know, we hope to have some of these conversations um, with, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. coming up some other time and all of that. But it was, a, it was an awesome one. It was an awesome one. And I really and do appreciate your time. And um, on the you know, platform, you yeah, know, man. you bloggers are taking over, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, we're just, we're, just, we're just starting, man. We're just starting, man. We're just starting. You don't even want to watch TV anymore. I just want yeah, to check out. Uh, yeah. Okay. I could talk about myself uh, um, off this. I don't want to talk about myself right here, but I've been into this for a long time, and yeah. the blog is just um, a scratch of what I've been doing as um, an entertainment person. You know, I've worked yeah. on the ground for uh, top artists in Nigeria. You know, in the media. Mm -hmm. so, and this, what I'm, what I'm doing right now is just, just like. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> this is big. <laughs> just, <laughs> All right, man, Mr. Carbo, thanks for coming around. And, you know, man, I respect, man, respect, man. Yes, sir, likewise. Thank you for so much, man. It was fun. Thanks, bro. All right, man, catch yes. you some other time. Uh, bye, yes. Yeah. Peace.